Before we start work we have to check our materials and our tools but we have to do this before we entering the turbine. We have to do this on the ground or at the service point because if you are on a turbine, if you have a broken tool, there's no possibility to get a new one. When we we're first of all we're entering a wind turbine, I had to get the control for the wind turbine. So the, normally the wind turbine is a remote control service, and uh, we had to, well, we need the local controls. There are different types of controls at the different turbines from the different constructors, and normally you have two ways to get the control for the machine. The first way is um, to log on on a control panel with personal password, and then you can um, get the active state. Here. That's important for you to get the local control at the machine. And the second way is there are some key switches, you can turn a key and that's the same. working on the ladder, you have to clamp on, you fall rest, and if you're working on gaps or working on the roof, it's the same thing. It's really important to, um, to wear your PPE correct and to be um, attached correctly on the, on the safety point because if you have heavy tools in your hands and if you have an accident and you don't wear your PPE correctly, there can be heavy injuries. If you would like to work on height, you have to use your PPE. It's really important because to save your life, if you have an accident, if you fall down through a hatch or from the ladder, you um, have to be secured.
the weather is a big hazard. We have to look very carefully during our daily work at the hazards. The wind is the first hazard we have to look for because if you have too much wind, it's not allowed to work on the wind turbine. But if you, the wind speed is too high, you have to leave the nacelle and going down to the ground. Another point is a thunderstorm. If you have some flashes and the flashes are catching by the rotor blades, you have so much electricity in your turbine and it is really, really dangerous for you. So if, a, if you see a thunderstorm is coming, if you see dark clouds, you have to leave the turbine immediately. Thunderstorm is coming, if you see dark clouds, you have to leave the turbine immediately. So we have different main hazards in the turbine. The first one is um, an electrical hazard. So we have many electrical cabinets with high voltage in it on the turbine. And if you touch an electrical cabinet, you can have an electrical shock. It will be really dangerous. Your heart can't be stopped beating. We have big rotating items. And if you put your hands on a rotating item, you can crush your hand or it can chopped off. It's really dangerous. They have many hydraulics on it, especially for the brakes for the yaw or the brakes for the rotor. And if you have hydraulics, you have some big tubes with high pressure oil in it, with high pressure. And if you have some cuts in your tubes or some small holes and then the oil spreads out to your eyes, it will be really dangerous for your eyelid. When you arrive on site, you would put your PP on, which would be your survival suit, your life jacket, your personal locator beacon, your boots, your hard hat and your gloves. And then you would do buddy checks with the other technicians to make sure you've got the equipment on correctly. Once we've done our PP and buddy checks, we would walk down the designated walkways to the pontoon to board the vessel. Once you've swiped in and watched the inductions, you would then go and be seated, put your seatbelt on for the journey. the inductions, you would then go and be seated, put your seatbelt on for the journey. So 
transfer time depends on the distance of the location where you will work and the uh, UK. When entering the turbine, there is an information pack which states where all the fire detectors are and all the fire extinguishers are located. And when you're walking through a construction site, you need to make sure you've got the correct PP on at all times. Mainly your high vis, your boots, and your hard hat. You also need to follow designated walkways. The 
first thing we do when we want to perform a heavy lift is that we announce a heavy lift meeting where all the parties involved come together and check the documents, check if the vessel is ready for the planned action and also check the latest weather report. Then, shortly before the lift, the lift supervisor goes with the crew through all the procedure, how the lift should work and then we start if everyone is ready. If we work with suspended loads, of course no one should walk under these suspended loads and we also have to take care about the cables that are on deck because the cables are the most dangerous part of a heavy lift and make the people aware of it. The wind industry is growing fast in Europe and it is a new industry but we are doing our very best to keep our people safe there.